Horses with a history. Brands with a background. The Four Sixes Ranch presents third fastest qualifier day one, Sam Crow. The gray gelding Sam Crow took a little time to get the hang of racing, but then you wouldn't expect a young horse named for a TV motorcycle gang to obey all the rules. When we first kind of broke him, he was, you know, his, he could see everything. I mean, he was real skittish. First time or two we gave him, he went left, went right. Looked like I hadn't done my job, but uh, he's kind of settled into things and figured out when the gates open, let's go. And that's exactly what he did in the trials. They're running, slight stumble from flashy first cartel at the start. Sam Crow came away beautifully from the rail, but drifting out a little bit. Sam Crow in front, and now flashy first cartel has recovered, coming on, and in second is still is GM1 Hot Chicky. Flashy first cartel chases Sam Crow. Sam Crow in front, bearing to the middle of the track. Sam Crow, the winner. Despite drifting out, Sam Crow wins it well for jockey Ricky Ramirez. The son of Valiant Hero was bred by Paris Wixon and is owned by Terry Baber, who paid $40,000 for him at the All-American sale. Trainer Blaine Wood has an interesting history with Sam Crow's family. I'll tell you the story on this horse why I bought him. Y'all, it's, it's kind of a funny story. I qualified eight head here one time for a sale for Tyranny. I didn't win it. I run second through ninth. His mama win it, and I've bought everything that she's had since. Now, Wood is hoping for Sam Crow to even the score. 